how to use data to understand skills and career opportunities, both from an employee perspective, but also from, from an organizational perspective as well. Sure, and I think it's gonna continuously grow exponentially if you ask me, because it becomes foundational now. Nobody can start from not knowing and data brings the knowledge, but you do need a system of record that's accurate. So yeah. having a data lake, we have a data lake and we use all the tools available to bring that data into a centralized space where we can derive a lot of insights. I think that's really important because most of us have different systems coming together and it's important to have a trusted source of truth. But when you think about transformation, it's about capability building. And we are focused on value drivers and capability building. What that means is actually after you identify the capability, a great example is customer service. We want them to become financial wellness advocates. It's yeah. beyond of responding to the client's needs and going into relationship building. So we can start offering a financial wellness, more comprehensive services. And we're all moving from products to service. So the data is about the customer, a lot of data from the customer, a lot of data about our employees' skills go into this. And it's important for us to create the architecture. One is the reporting. Now we have a platform, I think I mentioned Skills Accelerator when we talked before, is our talent marketplace. Everybody's in a talent marketplace nowadays, but it's infused with the AI and machine learning. So our employees who don't have resumes ready because they have long tenure, we tend to have long tenure employees, they, they are extremely happy to see that we have inference of skills from their LinkedIn profile or for whatever we put in the, in the machine. That leads to very good dashboards. We are using a lot of Tableau. Data visualization is key for us because the spreadsheets are out. Tableau and BI, Power BI are in. So data visualization is helping us really identify the skills we have, identify the capabilities that we could build with those skills. And skill clusters is the new frontier. Um, it's building more than skills, it's building capabilities. So data serves us across all six points of engagement, but most notably in skills assessment and identifying of what the predictive capability, we are not there yet, but we yeah. need to start predicting what could be our next game. But you are inferring skills rather than going out and asking people. We have 84% of our people uh, domestically in the tool already, and that was voluntary. And this is really, really good, good news for us. And if you, I mean, again, it, it, without getting into the details, you might not give the exact number. Are you, you know, is it is the skills you're inferring accurate as well? So you're going out and testing it with with employees, presumably as well. Yeah, there's a validation process, and it's very cool because then you start telling people, think about your capabilities that you're building. Think about all the activities you have in your life. Doesn't necessarily need to be tied to the role you play at Prudential. But if you're a coach in a team of your kids, if you are a, somebody who took off to do a, to write a book, all the skills you gain from your life experiences, we want you to add in because the work life, workplace and personal lives blending are really conducive to creating new capabilities, if you ask me. I think it's very positive, actually. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.